So this video is going to show you how to catch some silvers. Right, so I'm going to show you how I would fish boundary in Manor Farm Leisure for silver. So all the target is silvers. We're not interested in the millions of F1s and carp in here, all right? So I'm going to use the seafood expander mix, which obviously is a little bit pellet based. Now you might be thinking, why on earth are you fishing pellet based ground bait for roach? Because they see so many pellets, because a lot of people don't fish for the roach here. So normally they're reasonably easy to catch. So, and they see lots of pellets, so they basically eat that. So that's what I'm going to use, okay? So a bit like Blue Peter, there's one I've already mixed up earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some dead pink here, so I'm not going to measure it. Just what I feel is right. Let's get a handful of maggots as well. I'm just going to stun them, if I don't drop my bucket. So literally just stun them. And then I'm just literally going to mix it round. And then what I'm going to do, the brown baits not like really really like wet or anything but I'm going to feed literally five of these to kick start it off. Now my method is thinking if I feed five of these then hopefully them carp are just going to swim around it because obviously it's danger. Um, and that has worked in the past because I was lucky enough to draw boundary a couple of years ago and I never hooked a carp so it might be it might sound a bit daft but feeding lots of ground bait hopefully it's just going to make them carp swim round it. That's the plan anyway. All right, now you've got two ways you can do it. You can either throw it in, or you can cup it in. So it's entirely up to you. I'm just gonna cup it in. All right, so they literally just fill my big pot. So all I'm gonna do is cup in five balls, like so. They don't have to be like dead accurate. You're better off just spreading it around in a, I don't know, like a metre square. So not like all over the shop. And hopefully them fish are going to be on it quite quickly. It's not that deep on the first shelf. So we've probably got... Well, it is, well, not probably, it is that deep. So what's that? Maybe three and a half, maybe four foot deep tops. And all I got is a 0.4 gram John Walker float, a little bulk and two number droppers. So real simple um, and a size 22 F1 pellet hook. So um, happy days. And all I'm gonna do is just gonna fish literally single maggot, live maggot as well. So literally just hooked through like the bum end. So happy days. So just to clarify, the main line's 012 and then the hook length is 09. So I've got a six inch hook length um, and I'm probably a couple of inches over depth, literally two inches over depth. And then I've got a dropper about five inches away from the hook. So literally only three inches um, from the dropper to the bottom. So you get quite a few lift bites, which I think is quite good. So the droppers are quite positive. Wow, they're all, uh, both of them are number 10 shot. So you know, the bigger the drop shots, the more positive your bites are going to be. Um, and it's just, all you need is like probably a good kilo of ground bait, maybe a kilo and a half of ground bait would probably be better. And then you probably want a, a good two pints of maggots, maybe three pints of red maggots. That's all I've taken. Half a pint of dead pinkies. And then obviously half a pint of, say, dead reds. And then a pint of micro pellets and that should be sufficient for you to have a real good day catching loads of silvers, to be honest. It is just all about getting the rhythm. Um, in the matches, you have to net every fish. So that's one of Dave's rules, so one of Manor Farm's rules. Um, so you have to net every single fish. It doesn't matter if it's half an ounce or £10, not that you'd be swinging in £10 fish, especially not silvers. But, um, yeah... All right, so obviously just get into rhythms to make sure you land in net poles like I've done is right behind you. It's very easy to get. And it, you just speed up the whole process of, of obviously netting all the fish.
understand? Okay, and what's important is you want to make sure that long line from them skimmers is regularly topped up. And I'm quite positive, so I put like a ball of micros and some dead maggots. Because I'm going to fish dead maggots over top, it's really windy, so I'm going to fish a big rig, 0.6 grams, slightly over depth. I'm going to do that with pellets, I might catch loads of their flying because the foul look and it'd be calming. So we're looking for the catch silvers, and therefore that's why I feed in quite a hefty amount of bait. Long line with double dead maggots, big every rig, happy days. So I've had a lovely day, well, a few hours, caught some skimmers and absolutely loads and loads of roach. So really good. Every fish is a swimmer, which is great to see. Obviously fish in the future. So my logic didn't always work. I mean, there is millions of F1s in here and we're pleasure fishing, so to avoid them is, you know, almost impossible. Obviously the silver matches here, the F1s don't count. I know some venues, they do count. But we'll just put them safely back. Dave for letting us use the fishery today. Um, obviously, we use keep nets on boundary pool, which are not allowed pleasure fish in, but Dave allowed me to use it for the purpose of the video. So thanks very much for that. I also like to thank Gary for doing some photographs and a bit of filming, top man. And also the final shout out is to Howard K and Howie Golder for sorting out my bait. So great maggots. They got us a fishing tackle shop on the complex so it's worth a visit even if you don't need any bait it's always worth like popping in if you're going to fish a fishery and ask Harry or Howard where's fishing best so location especially in winter is really important so it might be worth a visit just literally saying hi guys where's best fishing where should I fish you know tell them what you want to catch and they'll put you right anyway happy new year to you and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon